Hello everyone. In the previous session, we had a quick intro to ABAP RESTful Programming Model, also known as RAP. And towards the end, we looked at the end-to-end -end use case scenario that we were going to build. Uh, so a quick recap of the end-to-end -end example that we are going to build in this session. Uh, so we're going to create a table. We're going to create an interface view. We're going to have uh, create a uh, consumption view. We're going to create metadata extension file for UI annotations. Uh, we're going to create the uh, business object. We're going to define entities for business object. We're going to define some behaviors. Uh, we're also going to define behavior projections, uh, service definition, service binding, and also add draft handling functionality. So these are all the steps, all the stuff that we're going to do in our end-to-end -end example. And this should give us a good idea of all the feature set available in ABA Pressful Programming Model. Now, before we start building this application. I've already built this application, so we'll go through this application quickly. Uh, so I'm bringing in my uh, Eclipse uh, ADT tools. Um, so here I have um, a couple of service bindings. Actually, I have four service bindings. Um, so this is my uh, V2 version of it with the data preview, and this is my V4 version of it. So let's start with the V4 version of it. Uh, so I open up my V4 version. I open up the app. So this is what we are going to build, and we'll see how to build it step by step as well. Uh, so here is uh, my filter bar, and I have the draft handling feature as well. I can click Go. And right now, there are no users in here. Uh, so I can create a user. And you can see that um, uh, the ID field is pre-populated from the back end. And I'll use my first name, age 45. Our role, I will give as UX uh, developer. Now, note that the salary field is read only. So we are not uh, adding the salary. But based on the role, the salary is automatically uh, uh, calculated and populated for the user. Uh, and you can see here it says draft saved. So we have draft functionality. So the draft is saved in a temporary table, in the draft table. Uh, so let's go ahead and click save so that it is uh, saved to persistence. And notice that the salary initially was, uh, we didn't enter the salary, but based on the role, uh, it automatically calculated the salary. Uh, now, if I go back, uh, I should see this new entry in here. And uh, let me go ahead and create another user as well. And I will create another user, Monica Gupta, age 42. And I will say UX lead. And again, no salary here. Uh, saving draft. You saw saving draft. Now the sa draft is saved. I save. And based on this role, the salary is calculated as well. So now we have uh, two users. Uh, and they're both in active, uh, not in active state. They're inactive at this moment because they just started. Uh, so the background checks have not been verified. Uh, they are not onboarded. Their user account is not set up and so on. Um, so we select this user and we say set active. So it goes through all the checks. And then it uh, changes uh, the active state to yes. Uh, so this is an action that is performed. Uh, so the user is now active. And notice now when I select Monica again, the set active uh, is disabled because the user is already active. And we can also delete this user if we want. So we can delete. So all the CRUD functionality exists. And we can also edit this user as well. Like we can go into this user, go into edit, and we can change the age or so on as well. So all the CRUD functionality exists and you can see that everything is working uh, with this v4 ui service now let's say we want uh, U v2 odata v2 service and uh, i have that service binding here as well uh, so i open up this uh, v2 service binding i go into preview and uh, pretty much the same application that we just saw uh, draft is enabled here as well uh, so we can select this user. Uh, we can do an edit of this user. Uh, let's say we change this user back to UX uh, developer. And uh, once uh, you can see that it is uh, saving the draft, draft is saved. Uh, once we save, the salary is uh, automatically calculated as well. Um, and all of this is there. We can even uh, filter based on filter criteria. Uh, say we say, uh, oh, I guess. Uh, Monica, 
and all of this should work here as well. Uh, so we have the filter and all of that good stuff. Um, now, if we started creating a draft, uh, let's say we just put in Milton, and then we it, we didn't save it, we didn't create the user, and if we go back, uh, we should see uh, Milton. Oh, let me remove this filter here. And if I go, I should see this draft. This is in the draft state as well. Uh, so everything is working. Now we can, from a different app, or once you go to the office, from your app, office laptop, you can uh, uh, you can complete this transaction as well. And once you save, um, the draft is saved, uh, and the salary is calculated, and everything is working here. OK, so that is for the app. And also, we have uh, uh, the O data service without the Fiori app. Uh, so I've created a no UI uh, service binding as well. So there is no UI and there is no UI for the V4 as well. So I've created four service bindings, uh, one with UI, one without UI for both uh, version O data version two and O data version four. And this is what we will be building uh, step by step uh, all the way from ground up. So in the next session, we'll get started on this end to end example. Thanks. Bye.